So a lot of people have questions about, you know, commissions and splits and what it all means. So this is the simplest way that I can explain commissions and splits. And I did it really simple in black and white. No, nothing fancy about these slides. It's just the numbers and what it is as far as it comes to splits. Because I find a lot of times agents, even that uh, that join or become part of a brokers don't really understand the split. So, um, I think this will be valuable for you. So, um, let's go to the next slide here. Okay. So let's talk about the basics, right? The basics is it's an 80, 20 split. So when you hear the term 80, 20 split, it means it's 80 to the agent and 20% to EXP the company. Okay. So when a commission comes in, it's an 80, 20 split. So in, in a basic example, let's say, you know, it's a $10,000 commission, the agent would get 8,000 and the company gets 2000. Okay. So that's just the basics, basics, but we'll go over some deeper numbers here in a second. Okay. So let's talk about something uh, called capping. So what's cool about uh, the company is that um, you don't stay at an 80 split. 80% split, right? They reward you for doing more production. So there's something called a cap for people who don't know who, what a cap is. You'll hear that term in real estate. And it means that you've hit a certain level of production where your commission is actually going to increase after you hit this cap. Okay. So here's the cool part. So when you cap, it means you hit $80,000 in gross commissions. Meaning if a gross commission is 10 grand, well, now you have 70 grand more to go and then you hit your cap, right? So in our market, this equates to about 10 to 12 deals. So once you do 10 to 12 deals in your anniversary year, so if you start today and you do 10 to 12 deals in six months for the rest of that year, you're going to be at 100% commission. And I'll explain that again in a second. So uh, I do want to explain that another way to look at the cap is from the perspective of what EXP gets. So a lot of people, um, when you go look at other brokerages, they say, oh, we have a $21,000 cap or a $24,000 cap. Well, we only have a $16,000 cap. And it's the same thing as saying hitting $80,000 in gross commissions. Because if you take 20%, which is what EXP gets, from the $80,000, it equates to 16 grand. So once EXP has made $16,000, they actually bump you up to 100% commission. So uh, that's really exciting. That's actually super competitive in the market. Um, being able to actually just do 10 to 12 deals and then go 100% commission for the rest of that year. It's important to note that it's that it will reset every anniversary year. So if you start today, once again, if you start today and let's say you hit 10 to 12 deals within your first six months and you hit that $80,000 gross or that $16,000 cap uh, with EXP, then you will have 100% commission on every deal that you do all the way up through the rest of your year. When you hit your anniversary, it'll reset back to 80, okay? Um, and you'll see why that happens here in a minute. So here's something to note. So this is this is why uh, it's actually kind of cool. So we're one of the few unique companies that actually offer agents residual income. The, the ability to essentially attract agents to the company and make a little piece off of every agent that they bring on, but not just the agents that they bring on, but the agents that those agents bring on and those agents bring on all the way down to seven levels of income, seven income streams that you can create from attracting one person to the company. Well, how does EXP actually get us that money? Well, they give it to us every month through something they call revenue share. So um, if, you're, if your organization is closing deals, every, every 22nd uh, day of the month, they give you a check. Well, that 20% that EXP takes up until you cap, half of that is allocated to pay you, the agent, for attracting people to the company. So I'm actually very happy they take the 20% because the residual income um, opportunity with this company is immense. Okay. So I want to make sure that you guys understand that even of the 20 that EXP gets 10% is given back to agents who choose to grow the company and grow their organizations within the company. Okay. So let's talk about some fees. So every transaction has some fees. Um, EXP has $65 in fees per transaction. Uh, one thing I did not mention on this slide is that once you cap and you're getting a hundred percent of your commission, then the EXP fee actually goes to 250. Remember, EXP is not taking any money out of your check. So it's 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 natural that it gets bumped up to 250 when you hit your cap. 
But anytime before your cap, it's only $65 with the EXP. Now, if you're a part of the Alliance group, which is our crew, uh, our family, um, you get a lot of extra perks. What are those perks? Well, obviously, it's the coaching programs, the mentorship programs, the special events, um, the culture events. Uh, we have staff, um, you know, that we that we pay to be in the office to help onboard you and anything else you need and sets up all the events and the classes and everything like that. So we have a, a lot that we bring to the table. We're a very unique group within the EXP model. EXP was actually built to be a virtual model. And obviously we have not done that. We have the office space, we have the coaching programs, we have the staff, we have the special events, we have the special seminars. So because of that, we charge another transaction fee, which is, we call it the Alliance culture fee. Um, but that 234 goes to the Alliance group. So your total fees on any particular transaction will equal 299. Okay. So what is the best practice here? So what we tell you guys is every, almost every single brokerage charges a transaction fee, or at least every brokerage that I've ever come across. So if you charge your client a, tra a, a simple transaction fee of at least 395, you will not pay any money out of your pocket. Um, I won't get into the weeds on this, but basically what happens is when you charge a transaction fee to your client, they add $395 to your commission. And when the, all the splits are taken out and all that stuff, it easily covers the 65 and the 234 or the 299 total. So that's best practices. You don't have to charge the 395 if you don't, but you will eat the fees if you don't charge it. So uh, you might as well charge it. Like I said, it's a very standard fee and not, not that high of a fee. Many brokerages have way higher transaction fees. So um, the other cool part is, is that that $234 gets reinvested back into you guys, into the agents. Like I said, the coaching, the events, the office, all these different things. So um, many brokerages charge a transaction fee, but it actually doesn't go to you. It actually goes to their franchise or to their corporation, right? Uh, in our case, we actually reinvested in you guys. So that's pretty awesome. Okay. So all that being said, let's go through some examples. Okay. So here's how, how it pans out. So the average home price is around 275000 Okay. Average commissions are two and a half. I've, obviously, the standard is about 3%. I'm being conservative here because, you know, some, you know, there's some listing agents that only put two and a half. So let's just say two and a half, although 3% is what we're always shooting for. Okay. But let's just do a pro, let's just do a sample with two and a half percent. So here's what it looks like. So here's $275,000 purchase price home times two and a half percent. That's a 68.75 gross commissions. Remember that gets taken out of your cap. So remember that $80,000 cap that you have to meet. Just, just picture in your mind, 68.75 is being subtracted from it. So you're getting one step closer to hitting your cap or going to 100%, okay? So they, they take that out of the gross, not what you get, which is awesome, okay? So you hit your cap faster. So your gross commission is 68.75. We're gonna take 80% of that and it equals 5,500. So your commission is 5,500 for that transaction, okay? So what's cool about that is, you know, you think about it, you know, two transactions is $11,000 a month, right? And, you know, every agent that gets up and running should be shooting for at least two transactions a month. You know, obviously the top producers are doing way more than that, right? So it, it's, it's a pretty, it, it, it's a pretty lucrative business and we love that. So it doesn't take much to actually be a six figure earner in real estate, but you obviously have to put the work in and you have to follow what your mentors teach you and the programs that we have and plug into the classes and plug into the culture. It's not an easy game, but once you learn it, it can be very, very lucrative. Now, let me give you, um, Another example, because it's important that new agents understand this. So new agents have to understand that you must be assigned a mentor for your first two deals. OK, um, this is not only something EXP requires, but we actually have our own training program here. So we don't even put you through the EXP training program, which is actually um, you're with a mentor for uh, three deals and they charge you 20 percent referral fee for those three deals. Well. The only issue with that is, is that the mentor that you get is not within our office. And these are the mentors in our office are specially trained and they're local and you can, you know, uh, see them and feel them and touch them. So they're here. They're helping you. So we have a, a mentorship program and we only do two deals at 25 percent. So for your first two deals, if you're a new agent, you're going to be paying a 25 percent referral fee 
to your mentor. So you're essentially getting paid to get trained, getting paid to have that lifeline, that person you can call when deals get tough, when you need to write up that contract, when you need to know what to do next. Okay, that's what the mentor is there for. And trust me, you will want one. Um, it, it is the quickest way for you to learn the game. Okay, so here's what it looks like if you have a mentor. Well, same thing, 275 example, 275,000 times two and a half, we get the 6875. But remember, you have the 25% referral fee to your mentor so when you subtract 25 percent, the commission ends up being 51 56 okay then there's still the 80 per 80 20 split and so the net check to you in your pocket is 41 25 okay and remember we want you to charge the the, the uh, client the transaction fee so you don't get any fees taken out of that 41 25 okay so um I want you to kind of end with this. Remember that you have the opportunity to make way more than 100% with this company. EXP has done something that I've never seen. I've been in business now for about 20 years um, and I've been studying business. I've been studying entrepreneurship. And when I saw the EXP model, I saw how brilliant it was. It actually gave agents the opportunity to build wealth long term. This is a long game, right? You got to plan for that being in the game for five years, 10 years. But man, if you work the system that eXp has been giving you, you're going to make way more than 100% commissions because our goal from for all agents is to realize that the opportunity is not just with doing transactions, but also with building an organization through eXp and creating a residual income source. So you're making your money through deals and then you're making your money through residual income by attracting agents to the company. Company. And on top of that, which no company has ever done, is they give you stock in the company for doing the normal things that you do. Um, I won't discuss how you get the free stock you get with the company in this particular training, but um, the point is this, is the goal, it's a low standard for you to think that making 100% commission is the goal. No, we want to make way more than 100% and you do it by adding multiple income streams and eXp has those built in. I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, please talk to your mentor or talk to me, of course. So um, hope this helps. Take care.